Hi guys, it's Aaron from Ace Electrical here. I'm just going to talk today about um, overloading your circuit. Now it's a really good time of year to be talking about this because um, we're starting to get those first couple of cold days in Sydney and people are pulling out these trusty little fan heaters and radiant heaters and oil heaters. Um, now at this time of year, a common problem that occurs is people plug in their heaters and then they're still trying to do their normal things like boil their kettle, do their washing, cook on the microwave, and they tend to overload the circuits if they've got you know, old switchboards with fuses and circuit breakers and no safety switches. So I'm going to show you a little tip about what you can do to easily prevent an overload. Alright, so here's a tip guys. Um, when you're using these electric plug-in heaters, they're only designed for heating one small room at a time. Now whether that's a lounge room, the dining room, um, or one of your bedrooms, you just have to shut all the doors and only try and use this heater to heat one room. Now I recommend that you get rid of the oil heater and you get rid of the radiant heater because they just use so much electricity and they're not very effective at heating small rooms. Get a fan heater, you can use a tall one like this or one of the little short ones, cheapest chips to buy um, and they'll heat the room really, really effectively. They'll heat it so good you don't even need to leave it on. What you can do, you grab a little $5 timer, timer from Bunnings uh, and set it up so it's only on for 15 minutes and then leave it off for you know at least 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes or an hour. And if you keep the door shut, that will be enough to keep that room warm enough um, for you on those cold winter nights.